morning, folks. How you doing? Papa Joe here. Drugging it up, getting out of Houston. Going to head up to the yard and then head out to Phoenix. I uh, wanted to touch base with you. I was watching the news this morning. A whole bunch of hoopla over uh, whether Obama was a Muslim or not. It's basically what it boils down to. That's my interpretation of it. Is there any doubt? I mean, really, is there any doubt? With uh, his background, with his both his dads and his mother, where he was raised, where he spent uh, his vacation after his first year or two in college, which was in a junior college, and all of a sudden he had uh, enough money to go to a major college. Huh? That's amazing. So where did he go? wrote a book that pretty much uh, tells you his feelings. You know. Now everybody tries to make a big deal about him smoking pot. I don't. I mean, me and him ain't that far apart in age. And uh, I smoked my share. Still would if I could get by with it, but see, I'm one of them I have pride and I like working for a living and in America today. If you want to actually work and earn income, most places you got to pass the drug test. Now if you want a handout and be uh, join the free shit army, now, you ain't got to pass the drug test for that. Now that, that still just messes me up. Two and a half miles, keep to the right on US 59 Cleveland. Now y'all heard that. Uh, the states that are actually implementing the drug testing for welfare recipients, thank you. Good job. No, it ain't racist. No, it ain't being a hater just a fact. If you got money to do drugs, you shouldn't need a handout. That's just how a whole lot of us working people think about it. Uh, I will be curious to see what happens. There's supposed to be documentation showing, and that GPS makes the yell at y'all again. I know where I'm going, you don't know. Uh, let me see if I'm silencing for you before it happens. They're talking about having proof that the Obama administration set it up to sabotage Israel. Really? I wonder if that was on purpose. I mean, it's almost like if you look at it, a bunch of money disappears, and then a bunch of money that can't be answered for reappears in a Iranian nuclear agreement. And it just so happens that Iran is uh, shifting money into uh, Hamas. Is that who it is? It's attacking them. You know, really? Obama has done everything he can to hurt Israel and Christians. He has done nothing to help Israel or Christians. With all of their refugees, they're bringing in less than 1% Christians. Really? Of all 
all these Christians over there that are being persecuted, murdered, and all this other nonsense, 1% is all you bring in. Now you bring in all kinds of Muslims and a bunch of them, we, uh, and you can't vet them, so we don't know if they're good Muslims or bad Muslims. Well, if you've watched me long enough, you know my feelings about that. So, uh, yeah, you need to guess on it there, buddy. Go get beside a big truck and camp out. Thank you there, little Saturn or whatever you are. Uh, they're acting like they're all surprised about some of the stuff that Obama has done and is doing on his way out. I'm not surprised in the least little bit. I expect a lot worse in the next month. Technically, it's less than a month, but we'll call it a month. Uh, you know, it's not uncommon for presidents that are getting out or leaving office to give a bunch of pardons and all this stuff. It's usually kind of scattered around a little bit. Obama has already showed that the only ones he's really trying to pardon is Muslims, terrorists. He actually tried to let all the Gitmo go, but he got blocked on that one. But he's still trying to let a bunch more go. That's crazy. Why would he be one to free up a bunch of known terrorists? It has been proven that they helped to sabotage, murder, kill, the whole routine. Yet he feels the need to release these evil people. Is that a brain stumper? And he had the uh, gall to say that he thought if, if he was allowed to run a uh, third term, that pesky, what is it, 22nd Amendment, kind of shut that down. But he, he said that he thought he could whoop Trump's ass. Thought he would have kept Trump out of there. Everybody had already had enough of your game. Your own people turned on Hillary. They was trying to use your mojo or her mojo. It didn't work. Everybody was tired of the nonsense. You couldn't have done nothing. Now you might have came a little bit closer than her, but I don't think you would have made it. I think what you would have done is some of those that stayed home, I think they would have came out and voted against you. That's just how I see it. Uh, it is what it is. So to answer the original question, there is no doubt in my mind that not only is Obama a Muslim, Obama just did his own uh, jihad on the United States, using all of our own laws and stuff against us. I think he has done more damage to our country and to the Christian faith than anybody has and since the beginning of our country. That's just how I think. His wife ain't no better. Remember right after he got elected and her, her little spill about, uh, I am finally proud of the United States. Really? Finally? Kiss my ass. 
first thing he did when he became president. Ran overseas and bowed down to some sheik or whatever. Really? He didn't even address the people, the American people that had voted him in. He didn't even address them. He got on the Air Force One or whatever and went over there and bowed down to some oil baron sheep, some Muslim. What did Donald Trump do? What has he done? He's done this thank you tour. I love that. I ain't never heard of a president, president elect doing a thank you tour in my life. I love it. I think it's cool. Uh, all our money's up. I was watching today. They're looking to break some records. On Wall Street, they said you're. Uh, damn it! Your individual retirement account, what is it, IRA, 40 or whatever, brain part. They said, watch it. It'll be reflecting in real time soon. Uh, foreign people or dignitaries are reaching out to him. They're already wanting to touch base with him. They're uh, having a little hissy fit about him doing his tweet and his Twitter account. You go, Trump. I. The Obama administration was supposed to be uh, transparent and they did so many backroom deals it was pitiful. Me and the wife was talking about his Twitter account this morning when they was raising a fuss about it. We both love it. We both love it. We think it's cool. So, uh, yeah, he ain't gonna put everything on there that's happening but he'll put a bit on there. He'll, uh, he'll keep tweaking. As long as he don't start twerking. I can, I can handle him tweaking. So. I can't believe people are still trying to figure out if he's Muslim. It's like, really? Where does he leave any doubt? He doesn't even try to hide it. Where does he leave any doubt? You have to be purposely blind to not see it. That's crazy. All right, folks. That's my little spill. They was asking this morning, do you think Trump is Muslim? I was like, do you have any doubt? Y'all remember, God loves you, so do I. Trump, he likes you, he loves you. Obama, he ain't got no use for you. None at all, he wants to say yeah. Just like Hillary sold us out. Y'all have a blessed day now. Bye.